Hey family, welcome back to my channel. It's Patricia. And for those of you that have not seen the previous video that is playing right now as we speak, your girl did a thing. Yes, I am black now, black hair. It is husband and son approved color. We're doing a thing. Why? Why not? So yeah, um, just wanted to come on. This is a post-warm review of the Chasing Rainbows collection slash um, empties video. I'm all done with these and I thought, you know what, I've got some empties already. Why not just do a combo video because it's really only going to take me like a couple of minutes to talk about um, this line since it's only five bars. It's not like it's a huge, you know, collection or whatever. So, so we're going to start off with Chasing Rainbow. So the first one that I used was the yellow one. And, oh, I'm not almost done. Okay. Anyway, um, the yellow one. And this one was the one that smelled like lemon. I really, really like this one. Upon warm, it was still, oh, we're matching. Look at that. Hey. Okay. Sorry. Um. You know, I have squirrel moments. Yellow. This one I said on Cole was giving me squeeze today vibes, even though there wasn't supposed to be vanilla in it. Once again, I should have notes pulled up on this, and I don't because I'm just a dud. Um, I really did mean to have this going, I swear to you. You know what? Let me just stop the video and get stuff pulled up and act like I got some scent. Okay, so even though this one did not have any vanilla in it for some reason it was giving me the squeeze today vibes and i mean this is lemonade grapefruit and pineapple it's still pond warm kind of gave me um it was reminiscent of squeeze today so i'm here for it thoroughly enjoyed that i had that going in the family room which is the largest room of the house i could smell it the next day the next one was green and as I said, upon looking at this, now that I look at it, I see the apple. So I'm going to explain this because I know I look like about 12 different morons in this video. And I was embarrassed for myself, but the video was shot. I was not about to do it again. So yeah, I was looking at this. Now, if you just look at this, because the apple part, this is the apple right here, this whole thing. The only thing I saw looking at this was this. If you look at that, it almost looks like it's a boot that has like a black um, band at the top, like where your calf is. So it looked like to me somebody like running, you know what I mean? Because the boot is like pointing down to the ground. And so that's what it looked like to me. It was, I think I was just looking at it too hard because now that I look at it, that was actually like the leaf part of the apple and the black part was the stem. But I needed to do a whole entire explanation to let you guys know what I was looking at, which was only this part. If y'all think that looks like a boot, if you're just looking at that part of it, let your girl know. Like I said, I was talking leprechauns and, you know, people are laughing at me. And when I edited the video, I could see the apple sticking out of the corner. And I was just like, <sighs> anyway, this was going in the living room. I could smell this one coming around the corner. Like I've said before, the way our house is built, you walk through the kitchen. Everything is like an open concept. So you walk through the kitchen um, you immediately go into the dining room, which leads to the living room. I could smell this in the kitchen. Yeah. So it was really, really strong. I was surprised. So yeah. And the notes for this are Granny Smith apples, cactus blossom, and kiwi water. You would think with cactus blossom and kiwi water, it would be kind of like weak and watery, but this one really, really shocked me. Next, I have the blue one, which I still have almost a whole bar. I just used two cubes of this in the bedroom. And this one shocked me as well because I was telling you guys that it gave me Atlantic Air vibes. 
Knowing that I should have known it was probably going to be strong because Atlantic Air is not a weakling bar. It is not for the weakened mile. So saying that, I should have known that, but I came in thinking, oh, airy, you know, ethereal, blah, blah, blah. No, this one was kicking. He, he was letting you know he was here. So I could smell this one. It was really kind of strong. That's what I have for my notes. It was in the bedroom. The notes for blue are melon, blue sky, and musk. So I'm guessing it was at musk and whatever blue sky smells like, you know, I was kind of clowning like, okay, if anybody knows what it smells like, let your girl know. Clearly blue sky must be just like this kick a fragrance cause it was doing it. Now, yesterday was actually my day two, I believe. I'm like losing track of time, but my son was home for the weekend. It might have actually been Friday was day two. I don't remember. I think I changed my wax on Friday. So yesterday, okay, so yesterday was day two. So we have, and I know that because I remember putting this in the living room where he hangs out at. And I was kind of like, oh, is it going to be an issue or not? And he never said anything. So, um, this one, orange, was in the living room. I could smell it, actually, today, just like a, a hint or a whisper of it. So, um, yeah, it's actually pretty good. I was, I mean, I wasn't shocked because it is a, a, a citrus fragrance. Most citrus fragrances are, you know, kind of strong. So, orange is tangerine, orange slices, and creamy vanilla. I still didn't really get the creamy vanilla out of this, but I did get enough to kind of soften the blow of like all the different citruses. So I guess that was the vanilla. It was nice. Not exactly my favorite. You guys know I'm not the citrus lover. And lastly, we have red and rojo was in the family room, biggest room in the house. Um, I could smell it just, like I said, just a hint or a whisper today. And it's nice. It's a nice bar. Uh, this one is watermelon, cherry, and strawberry. So it did not give me a bitter cherry, thank God, because of, you know, the strawberry and the watermelon, you know, mixing in with it. So it was actually really nice. So, yeah. So all of these were great performers. Um, like I said, I enjoyed all of them. The only one that was my least favorite was the uh, orange one. And that's just cause I'm not the citrus girl like that. So that concludes my uh, video on that part. I just wanted to get it out cause I know tomorrow it's dropping and I just wanted to give you my thoughts. So. Now let's move on and see what is in this box for the empties. Okay, the box is full, but it's deceiving because there's a couple of bulky items in here. So we're gonna get the bulky out the way first. Um, I finished up a counter clean in evergreen and grapefruit. I really, really enjoyed this one. I know you guys are like, you are just bad as crazy. Like you just said you don't enjoy citrus, but I really, really like this one. Um, I guess it was just a mix of that tree note with the grapefruit. It just, it was a perfect, perfect combo. It smelled clean, it smelled outdoorsy, but you had that nice little punch of citrus in there. Really, really enjoyed this one. Winning combo. And the last bulky item we have is washer whips and that is in coral waters. I enjoyed this one as well. Nice, clean scent. So this one worked out really well also. Next, let's move on to the wax. So we have Shoreline Drive. This one you would think would be like a little wilting flower off in the background. It was really, really good. Nice, strong bar, but yet that whole fresh clean thing going on but this was a powerhouse i was really really shocked 
Maui Mist, like I said, this is a bring back my bar. This is the second time since I've been a consultant that it's come back. It's just a beautiful floral, really strong, a soft powdery floral. You guys know if you watch my fragrance videos, I am always here for the powder. I love a powdery scent. This gives me powdery flowers all day. Next, we have Around the Campfire. I mix this with, I want to say I mixed it with Shimmer because somebody had told me to mix it with, um, yeah, mixed it with Shimmer. It was a really sweet, girly combo. You guys know Shimmer is like this really sweet, girly scent really really pretty and around the campfire it's just this beautiful smoky also it's like a perfumey smoky bar so when you mix a perfumey girly with a perfumey smoky it just made this really great kind of unisex smoky combo that you just wanted to like spray all over and like go somewhere and be seen yeah um but somebody had told me to mix this i want to say with sugar so I have to try that as a combo next time to see how it does. But this was a really, really good combo. Next, we have Pink Haze, another favorite of mine. Bring back my bar. It will stay in my club forever. Just a creamy, fruity, strong scent. Really, really good. Sheer Leather, this is in my club as well. This is a perfumey, leathery scent. It is strong, all caps, red letters. It's so, so good. Oh, I love this one so much. Um, I picked up Cinderella Happily Ever After. This was when I got a, I want to say it was a six pack of Disney scents. And it's just a beautiful floral scent. I think it has honeysuckle in, I want to say. Let me pull it up for you guys so you can see um, what is in it. I want to say it's honeysuckle because I feel like that was like the first thing I smelt as soon as I stuffed my nose on it. Uh, let's see. Cinderella happily ever after. Oh, it's not honeysuckle. It's gardenia. That is that uh, floral note. Gardenia, Forget Me Not, and Frosted Lemon. So, so good. The next two are from the winter catalog that I went ahead and put in my club because I didn't feel like I had given them a fair shake even though we had like six months of the catalog. I just need to hold on to it for a little bit longer and that is Cashmere and Corduroy and Blue Sage and Tonka. These two are my favorites of the 10 new winter scents. Um, cashmere and corduroy gives me, um, mm, it's so good. It's like girly and sexy and, and manly and unisex all at the same time. This gives me, I say it all the time and I always forget what it is. What is Cozy it? Cardigan. I didn't want to waste video with me sitting here pondering and stuff. You know when something's like right down the tip of your tongue and you just can't spit it out? That's what this gives me um, vibes of. So if you like that one, you will love this one. And it's strong. It's really, really good. It's pretty. So the next one is Blue Sage and Tonka. This one is just a really kind of woody, woody kind of masculine scent. Really, really pretty. You guys know I love a masculine scent. So loving that one as well. It is strong also. Next, we have Ruby Nectarine Scent of the Month. Um, this one is nice scent, nice nectarine citrus type scent. It's nice. It's just nice. You guys know I'm not a citrus girl. Uh, birthday Wishes. This is from the Moments Collection, Moment by Moment Collection. I like this one. It does slightly remind me of Happy birthday, but this is more of a, uh, more of a cake, kind of a cake with icing scent where um, 
happy birthday is that kind of marble um funfetti type cake so i enjoy this one it has its time in place and no i have not mixed this with happy birthday yet i talked about i was thinking of doing it i don't think i'm gonna do it because happy birthday is such a monster and i'm just scared it would be a total waste of time and that it would just blow this one away so i've just been using this to mix with other things um i think i did mix this with blueberry rush to kind of give a blueberry birthday cake situation blueberry rush brush is really sweet it's loud it's just the best blueberry scent i have ever smelled it will stay in my scentsy club vanilla ood you guys already know smells like vanilla perfume love it and vanilla suede once again same thing smells like a beautiful vanilla suede type of cologne or perfume another ruby nectarine vanilla blackberry this one is super strong and it's just really pretty um loud strong it's everything next is sunburst bamboo uh, like i said before this one surprised me you would think it would just be this shrinking violet fragrance and it's not it's really good it's good middle of the road clean fresh scent but it has some strength behind it i was really really shocked by this one aladdin three wishes now i think was this the one that i mixed i think this was the one i mixed with happy birthday and loved it it's just a really good sweet blueberry scent i like this one as well so i had to grab some more of it when i was able to i think i grabbed like three of those when i did the three pack of um licensed scents scarlet sunflower beautiful um flowery scent it's strong but it's not like you know that commercial on TV where they're talking about the deodorant, the um, spray deodorant is too strong and you see like roses exploding through like every window and door of the house. This is not that. It's just a beautiful, kind of a perfumey floral. You guys know I love a perfumey floral fragrance. Next is True Love, another Disney princess scent and this one is pretty as well i don't remember the notes for this one um let me pull it up real quick while i still have the website up this one is raspberry mandarin a kiss of sweet vanilla so i like this one as well this one is a good performer too shocking right Next is Appealing Apple. This is a previous scent of the month. And lastly, we have Turning Red. Um, I have no small kids in the house. I have not seen the movie. I've heard the movies, everything. This is, on cold, it's like a bitter type of scent. But once I warmed this, it was not as bitter. And it really shocked me. It was nice. Um, the notes are pomegranate, juicy cherry, and sugar cane uh, with a vibrant orange twist. So I did enjoy it. Is it my favorite? No, but I enjoyed it and it was not as bitter on coal as it smells. Um, it was not as bitter warm as it smells on coal. So that's it, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions about Scentsy at all, joining Scentsy, Scentsy Club, um, collections, just anything at all, bulbs, um, cotton cleanups. We're not even going to talk about cotton cleanups and cotton shortages. That's a whole nother video. But anything Scentsy related at all, or just anything at all, just drop it down below or hit me up on all the different social medias. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.